mic. This is the Nacon. Look at the box here. So here we go. That's the the Nacon. Uh, let's get the icon in there. Nacon. There you go. Nacon or Nacon, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. But I've got one of these. So giving a bit of a try. So I figured I'd do a quick quick silver mission and see if I can get you guys to tell me how my audio is. So here we go. Let's um fire up normal mode. Turn the volume down a bit on my TV just in case the mic is picking that up and reverberating it back. Reverberating, posh word. Right, okay, where's my mouse gone? Here it is, lovely. And I'll get the old uh, stream up on YouTube so I can see. The oh, hello there, just John. Yeah, I'm just going to be doing a very, very quick Quicksilver run just to test this new mic. Is it coming through okay? Right, ho. Let's have a look, see, see if it's. Yeah, there I am. There's my video. Let's just click that. Let me see if I can hear myself. Sounds good to me. Sounding good. Awesome. Well, hello there, all. Is it sounding good, Ivy? Sounds good to me. Yes. Good. Brilliant. Awesome. Well, hello there, all. Cool. Nice one. Thank you, Ivy. It, it looks good as well on, on the actual camera, doesn't it? You can see my mic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I almost look like a professional streamer now. Yeah, I just got to do something about the head. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, here we go. Let's, um, oh, I wonder if my uh, fr frigate has finished. It's blue, so no, it's still in progress, I believe. Yeah, if, if it's blue, they're in progress. If they're green, then it's completed. So here we go. Yeah, it, it's, it's not ready yet. Cool. Glad that's a mic. Heck yes. Yeah, it's, it's the Nacon, the Nacon, Nacon mic. Uh, I've got the box here. There it is. There you go, Nacon. So yeah, I thought I'd treat myself. Maybe try and make it a little bit better. I'm just um, just testing out my new mic. I figured I'd do a, a really quick um, quick silver mission. We'll do a quick silver mission. and we'll see how this mic holds out. We'll see how we go. But yeah, I'm really chuffed with it. Yeah. Grandy, what are you doing on Captain Steve's channel? Hey, is Grandy here? Oh, no. I see what you, I see what you did there. You made me double check my, my chat there. Cool. No Man's Sky assistant. Well, hello there. Hello there, Galarak. Night, penguin. Night, night, penguin in the house. <laughs> when, I, when I hear night, penguin, I think of like, you know, Night Rider and Street Hawk and all that sort of stuff. I just think of this really groovy little penguin with like a, a red light going zoom, 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 across his little face. Oh, it could be an awesome show. Night, penguin. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds really good. Yeah, this this is a lot. I think this sounds better than the headset, but I will still use the headset if I'm streaming with friends because there's nowhere to plug a headset into this thing, from what I can see. I want to watch the review they said there was, but I can't see one on there unless I'm going blind. Right, let's head on into the Nexus. You tell what I tell you what. Since I can't pulse, I'm just going to call the Nexus to me. Excellent. Just that extra few feet makes all the difference. Let's head on in. Oh, and I've also positioned my camera on top of my laptop, on top of the actual stream chat, so I should be able to keep up with that a little bit better as well. It, it's all coming together now, slowly jumps. It's all getting there. Hello there, Pigpog. Hello there, Sam. Kevby1, Just John, Galarag, Night Penguin, of course. One stream, Night Penguin, Night, Night Penguin. Quicksilver is now 450. Got to go, no, Night Penguin, no. <laughs> okay, take care, buddy. See you next time. Uh, yeah, LJ, hello there, hello everyone, and uh, yeah, it's, it's feeling more professional. What the, where the fudge did he come from? Freaking ninja down from the ceiling, oh my days. Right, okay, let's, um, whoa, jeez, right, let's uh, pick up a mission, here we are, let's go grab one. Oh, we've got another Steve in the house, that's always good, hello there Steve. Oh, I did say I was going to do a mission. Construct an outpost. It gives it gives me the longest mission to do in the world. Okay, well we'll be doing it anyway. We're gonna try it. I don't know where I've got all the bits I need to put this together. This could be fun or it could be tedious as hell. Sometimes they give you some of the things to feed fauna with. You know, you have to construct a feeder and stuff, and that's that's oh, difficult because you need to have the um, oh what are they? I can picture the image in my head. It's the stuff that you make out of cactus flesh and things. It looks like a sheet of like um, greeny type seaweed with wiring on. Okay, habitable planet located, which is quite a lot of them to be fair these days. Let's um, yeah, better not go back into the next. Oh my days! This base is this place is littered with bases. 
you know what? I might just say no to the mission, and I might go visit some of these bases, because, yeah, the bases are all being all fandangly and awesome now. That's probably a better test, to be honest. And it's locking onto bases anyway, so let's just go where it takes me. <laughs> let's just go where it takes me. Let's go and have a look at one of the bases then. Polyfiber, that's the thing. I needed the app. That's what I needed. And then the man who makes the app jumped in and said, Polyfiber. Thank you, Kurt. Yes, Polyfiber indeed. Yeah, so what did you do? Just type in Cactus Flesh and up it popped. Yeah, yeah, it's sneaky. I like it. The use of the app live. Cool. Parrot fabric. It could be that. No, it's definitely not. It's Polyfiber. But yeah, Polly wants to crack it. A crocket, a cracker. Polly wants a crocket. What the fuck am I? Oh, fudge. Am I on about fudge? I didn't say the other word. No. <laughs> okay. Fandangly sound. Good. Until you start to wonder what's dangling from the fan. Dangling from the fan. What the fudge? I have no idea what it's on about. Okay, let's uh, land here. Ooh, look. There's all cones all over this planet. What the fudge is that? Hello. Okay, right, we'll, we'll touch down. Ha ha ha, says Night Penguin. I thought you was going, Night Penguin. Okay, but it's good to see you're still here. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a base. Yeah, we knew it was a base, Captain Steve. But what sort of base is it? It's a wooden one. But I'm stating the obvious now. It's a wooden one with half the ground still inside it. Okay, maybe we should have done the mission. Let's go do the mission. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, oh, I can just do the mission anywhere, can't I? I just need to build a base. Right, so I need to get away from this base to build a base. Nope, I'm back. Awesome. That's the skill of the night, penguin. Yeah, you know. Seek him here, seek him there, and then he's already here. Sneaky night, penguin. Okay, what about if I whisper? Let's try whispering. Can you hear me whispering? Whisper, 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 whisper. I bet you can. I bet that's still awesome. This, this mic is quite good. I, I'm wondering whether you can actually pick up the clicks of the joypad as well. Yeah, I could almost turn this into AMSR at this rate. Whisper, whisper. Yeah, that didn't just get creepy. Right, okay, let's um, head on over here. Let's uh, put down a base then. Chicka pow! I'm going to put this here. Chicka pow! Right, you're going to get a neighbour. Normally I wouldn't do this, build so close to somebody else's base, but I will be deleting this quite quickly. No, Steve, this is not a road mic. No, this wasn't... I went for one that was actually endorsed by PlayStation. So yeah, you can see there, it was for the PS4. This is the PS5, but it seems to work fandangly well. I've plugged it into USB 2 to give it that bit of extra bump, and it seems to work. So yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I was plug and play. Yeah, I think I've learnt my lesson with buying things that aren't overly endorsed by Sony now. Return of the Night Penguin. We now have the name for the sequel. Return of the Night Penguin. Yes, Galarag. We can hear the whispers and the clicks. We could probably hear a fart, a gnat fart. Really? I could, I could try breaking wind to see if that actually works for you. Did you hear that? Did you hear that little rumble in the jungle? Right, there we go. Then we're done. We got, well, did we claim the base, didn't we? Yeah. Now what have we got to build? Let's go for it up here. We got it. We got ourselves. We got ourselves a biodome. Pow! There we are. Done, dilly done. Yep, you heard that. Fantastic. That that's a treat for the ears. Right. Okay. Here we go. Not so much for my nostrils right now. I've, I think I've got a bad belly. Right. Okay. So let's put that on there. Pow! Done, dilly done. Two curved corridors. Oh, brilliant. This is going to start looking like a crab. Okay. We'll put one this side. We'll put one that side. Let's go into camera. Let's go into build camera mode. That's probably easier. Rotate this way. Rotate. Down it. Don't rotate. Then I just have to just mess about until it does. There you go. It's weird, isn't it? How the um, the uh, corridors they don't need glass. You know, they're, they're filled with glass. You don't need glass. Oh well. Okay. Returned. Yes, I have returned. Heck yes. Awesome. It's not the gnat that you have to worry about, it's the Steve. It really is, yes. If you've seen my air-grabbing skills video, if you haven't, you're missing out. There's an air-grabbing skills video where I crush air with my bare hands, and you can hear it crush. Yeah, it's me breaking wind, basically, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Right, yep, heard that too. Didn't sound like one that needed checking through, so you're probably okay there. I, I think I probably am. I don't think there was any sort of follow-through or follow-up or sequel. Okay. Oh, we've got to put these on there. Okay, all right, fair enough. Chicka pow! I'll put one that size as well. Let's make it symmetrical. Oh no, I'm out of pure ferryite. 
Darn it, and blast it. Okay, have I got any normal ferriite? Yes, I've got a shed load of that stuff. So let's just uh, reduce that by half and chuck it into my person up refiner. How much fuel have I got? I've got a fuel a full bar. Nice. Well, maybe I could build the cuboid room. I have got some glass on me, so let's uh, let's do that while we're waiting for the other stuff to uh, make, shall we? Yeah, I, I uh, brilliant. Let's just why can't I build another one? I'm out of glass. No, I've, I had a load of glass. Serious? Okay, I've only got two glass. Brilliant. I'm gonna have to wait for that refiner to start stop before I can stick anything else in it. I've got loads of stuff I could blink in sell. I, I just keep hold of a load of junk for some reason. Yeah, every save is the same. Um, I'm like um, organized chaos. I say organized chaos. I can't remember what I've got on each save now. It's mental. Okay. Brilliant. What else have we got here? Your PS5 footage is making me super jealous. Still can't get my hands on one. Jilly Dad, that is the main sort of updraw from all of this. I now have content that is on par with those that are using PCs. I mean, it's it's beautiful. It really is smooth. And it's a joy to play now. There's, I tried playing my PlayStation 4 the other day and it felt like a major step backwards. Although the, the complexity in the game is still the same game, it feels like a different game when you're playing on PlayStation 4. It really does. Yeah, it just pops. It's great. Spatter free. Nice, Galarak. Yep, yep. Painting some images there. Right, so here we go. Let's go into my exosuit. Go into here. Lovely. Let's grab that pure fairy eye. Chikapow! And we shall press on. Let's um, rotate that round. Yep, yep. Yeah. There we go. Right, and uh, let's make some more glass. Let's get some more glass on the bake, shall we? Yeah, let's stop this. We've got enough pure fairy eye now, I think. Take this. Don't know what's going on outside. I don't know whether you could hear that on my new fangdangled mic, but it sounds like someone getting murdercated. Okay, you notice how everybody rushes to the windows, including me. Right here we go. Let's uh, let's go and have a look. See, let's chuck that in there. How much glass is that going to make me? Two more glass. Fudge. I might need to go dig some ground up before I can make some more grass. Oh no! I might be able to throw in some frost crystals. We could try that. Yeah, nothing wrong with the hoarding of items in games. And I felt the need to hoard paintbrushes in Elder Scrolls Oblivion and brooms in my Skyrim. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, it, it is odd, isn't it? It is odd. Uh, how, you think, oh, I might need that. I might, I might need that. You don't want to part with it. For the love of God, that, you know, there might be a part in the game where you, you need that item. Yeah. Which is kind of nice that when you get to this sort of stage... Oh, there we go. That's made. That's cool. When you get to this sort of stage inside of uh, No Man's Sky, it, it kind of goes past that, doesn't it? We'll stick one up there for fun and one up there for extra fun. Oh, we've got Thunder in the house! Hello there! And um, we've also got uh, Jilly Dance. Uh, yeah, we're cool. Nothing wrong with hoarding. Uh, yeah, so, hey buddy in chat, sadly the 3.13 patch didn't really seem to do much optimization to train generation, and the patch notes mentioned popping is better with bases though. Yeah, it might be worth testing your um, Chinatown base. Um, your Chinatown is freaking ace, and every single time a new update comes out, I, I kind of wonder to myself, I wonder how um, Chinatown would be your base. I might, I might stick one more in the middle just to make it look, you know, interesting. I haven't got enough glass. Oh, I have now. Let's go into here. Let's, uh, it, actually, I don't know why I'm bothering because I'm going to delete this base, aren't I? But, oh, okay, we'll stick one in anyway just to make it look awesome. There we go. Kapow! There you go. And what else am I putting in? Planter trays. Okay, let's go do that. Chikapow, chikapow. Where are you, planter trays? Are you under specialist? No, you're not. Where are you? You're under tech specialist. Then you are. And what planter trays do you want? The big ones or the little ones? Big ones or little? Oh, the ones that are shining blue, Steve. Yeah. Freaking heck. Okay, let's uh, leg it down here. Let's put them in here. Kapow. Kapow. Oh, I got built. Oh, you know what? I, I am going to delete this base. I'm just going to stick them all here. Lovely. What have, what have I got to put in these planter trays? Anything? Yeah, groat root, whatever that is. Yeah, there we go. So that used to have a different name, that stuff. Uh, I'm sure it was like Fecium or something. Uh, Mordite, what else do I need to put in? 
What's the other ones? It did tell me a minute ago. Oh, now it says that I can just upload it. All right, fair enough. And then we can delete it. Brilliant. Done and diddly and done. Where are you, base computer? Where did I put the... Oh, yeah, I put it behind the base, didn't I? Let's go around there, then. There it is. I'm going to upload this. And I'm going to delete it. Here we go. Upload base. Yeah, I don't think you need a refiner for frost crystal. Oh, no, you don't, do you? No, you can just build it straight into your infantry space. I always forget that. I always, always forget that. Here you go. I'll show you people now, just in case people don't know what you're on about. Here we go. Let's go into Exosuit. So as long as you've got a space in your infantore, there we go, you can just go over to Craft and do it straight there. You don't even have to use your personal refiner. Kapow! See? And once you've made one, you can just sort of hold down on it and make some more if you like, you know? Whoopsie! I always forget that with the Frost Crystal. Alright, okay, let's delete this then. Delete base. Gone! And gone for good! Kapow! Right, I can jump in my ship, which is like half a mile away, and then I can fly back up to the station, and uh, we go grab our Quicksilver. Pigpog, hey bug, yeah, it was my build. Took a good while to make it. Glad you like it. Jason Plays mentioned it on his um, premiere that he did today, actually, Funda. If you check back, it's his ship customization premiere video that he did earlier today, around um, 4 p.m. Uh, yeah, he mentions your Chinatown base in that. And uh, yeah, awesome, awesome video as well. So hopefully that, that might get you a bit more traffic going your way. And yeah, very good build, well worth a visit. Okay, cool. And we've got Scott Shepherd Official. You have the smoothest commentary for your videos. Keep it up, brother. Well, thank you there, Scott Shepherd Official. Well, I've just got myself a new mic. So I will be watching this back and seeing just how awesome the voice sounds. Thank you. It's a shame I haven't got the face to match. You know, I've got a voice for radio. Yeah, I've got the face for radio is what I should say, isn't it? I've got the face and the voice, I guess. Radio. Okay, ping pong. Didn't realise that was your yeah, nice one, nice one. Hey bud, yeah, it was my build yeah, it's cool. My D three took me a year to build. I don't know what a D three is. Hey Funda says um Assistant No Man's Sky. And Funda just said hi back. I I love this community, it's cool. Giant! One, two, three, four. Hey! Well hey there, giant. Sweet. You've got the face too, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I know that's an insult, but yeah, I'll take I'll take what I'm given. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Cool, what's up, Steve? Hello there, the Rickiest Rick. Heck yes. Face for radio. Definitely got the face for radio. Radio face, radio face. <laughs> ah. I looked a little bit like um, Sylvester Stallone. Right, okay, let's head on over. And I mean, he got a movie, you know, so... Uh, uh, maybe I should just walk around like that, and then I'll be fine. Captain Steve, hey, Funda. Hey, everyone. How you doing, Captain? Uh, I hope he doesn't see that video. It'd knock me out. He seriously is a lot bigger than me, isn't he? You know, even though he's, like, in his 80s or something, he'd still kick my ass. Okay, right, here we go. Complete mission. Done. Dilly done. Sweet. 450. He probably isn't even in his 80s. I've just double insulted freaking Rambo. What am I doing? Here, tear my face off and use it as a flannel. That will happen. Okay, cool. Right. We're, I think we've tested the mic. The mic is good. My setup is good. I'm keeping up with the actual chats now. I think I'm on top of everything. Ray at Cobra in the house. Hello there, Ray at Cobra. Ah. Hey, Thunder. Hey, everyone. How you doing? Well, hello there, Ray at Red Cobra's got a channel. Thunder's got a channel. There's No Man's System Sky has got a channel. There's loads, loads of people in here that have got channels. Awesome people, awesome content creators. Be sure to check them out. Just having a little scrolling. Oh, my missus is in here. Manila London. Manila London has also got a channel. And she's my partner. She's a lovely lady. And yeah. Not a gaming channel, though. I'm similar. Do a lot of modelling, photo shoots. But I'm behind the camera. Well, I was once told that I've got the eyes. The eyes are awesome. See that, the eyes. I could be a balaclava model, you know, for neighbourhood watch stickers and things. I could probably pull through a letterbox, you know, with these eyes. Through someone's letterbox. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd be a sexy ninja. Exactly. Right. Love the new Mike Captain. Well, thank you, Just John. And Mike Dickerson. NG. Channel here. Just a fan. No channel here. 
I've got a smudge on my screen. <laughs> it made no look like. And gee, let me let me just get that. Uh, it's not touch screen, so I'm fine. Oh, that rocks my mic because my mic's on top of my laptop. That could have worked out badly. There we go. That looks a bit bad, better. Handsome ninja. Thanks. Yes. I don't, I've got the makings of a ninja here. Right? You could go like this with the hoodie, I suppose. You see what I mean? Yeah. Awesome ninja. Yeah. There we go. This is actually a No Man's Sky merch hoodie. There you go. I got that at the meetup. Yeah, it's got a little Atlas logo on it. You have to look very closely to know that it's anything to do with No Man's Sky. But this bit of merch, which you can't see because my mic's in the way. Maybe I could stand up a bit. Is Geeks actively making entertainment next to nothing? They are freaking awesome. I will be on their show on Sunday. Sunday at 4pm. They're doing some sort of competition and things. If you haven't checked out Geeks actively making entertainment, they make awesome entertainment that is No Man's Sky orientated. It's freaking ace. So yeah, this was a very, very quick stream just to test the mic. But I do stream quite often. I've got a schedule on my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe, hit the notification, and hopefully you're not going to miss my next one. Because sometimes they're a bit unprompt and a bit like this. Yeah. Anyway, people, that was good fun. I mean, building a base is never fun. But it is when I've got you guys here. We had a bit of banter, didn't we? It was two-way exchange. Heck yes. It was great fun. So yeah. Hi there, I've been watching your No Man's Sky videos for a while. Uh, taught me a lot, thank you. It means a lot to me that if I make people smile or help them with the game, uh, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here, so thank you very much. That reinforces my reasoning. Heck yes. Cheers for the stream, buddy. Have a good one. Bye all. Well, bye everyone. Goodbye all. Just got my PS5. Well done, Mark Dixon. That's a win for the PS5 team. And um, we've got one, one, one stream there. Thanks for the stream. Stay safe. Stay safe, everyone out there. Goodbye, all. Goodbye. Okay. I still haven't worked out how I stopped the stream like super quick on this. Here we go. I think I'm going to end now. So, bye, all, and thanks for watching. Take care.